the federal government began guaranteeing student loans in 1965. It's called the Federal Family Education Loan Program. And that program made capital available for students to borrow, to spend on universities. And the problem is that when that capital was made available, a lot of private universities started to emerge and private for-profit colleges started to emerge. And in the years since that that program was introduced, I just want to give you guys some crazy statistics. The 1969-70 era, the cost for a public four-year college was 1200 bucks a year. That's room, board, tuition, and fees. And in 2020, that cost rose to $21,000. For private four-year college in 1970, 2500 a year. 2019-2020, $46,000 a year. And so that capital basically allowed these for-profit organizations or these organizations that are trying to grow their endowments, which are effectively like for-profits, to charge any price they wanted. And the consumer, the student, would be able to get free capital to fund that quote-unquote education because it was available to them for free from the federal government. And so the federal government created a bubble in education costs. And that bubble in education costs has now overburdened 15% of American adults with student loans, that many of which would, they would never be able to pay back. And now we're in this really awkward situation of saying, hey, maybe we should forgive those loans because it's unfair that people are burdened by this. And doing so obviously doesn't solve the fundamental problem, which is that making those loans available in the first place creates an inflationary bubble effect in the end asset. And the end asset in this case is education. But we've seen the same thing with housing. And we've seen the same thing with pharmaceutical drugs and medical care and other services. So any place where the federal government steps in and says, I will provide a backstop, I will provide free capital to support and create a quote unquote incentive for this market to accelerate, you end up with these inflationary bubbles. You're going to have people game the system.